So we know that in Crohn's disease, smoking is um, bad for it. It increases both risk and the severity of the disease. Um, in contrast to ulcerative colitis, where smoking decreases the incidence and the severity of the disease. Uh, we looked at outcomes um, of smoking and ulcerative colitis, in particular hospitalizations, surgery, and medication use. Uh, we sent out a questionnaire where we collected all our information, and um, one, of, one interesting thing of note is we found out that people who were never smokers were diagnosed with UC at an earlier age than former and current smokers. Uh, the rest of this is just our results, and they're displayed in my figure, so I'm going to move over there. And we see that smokers were less likely to be hospitalized, have surgery, and be steroid dependent than never smokers, um, but they were more likely to use immunomodulators. So you might think to yourself, are these people using immuno are these people who use immunomodulators, is that why they're less likely to be hospitalized and have surgery? So in figure two, we adjust for um, immunomodulator use and hospitalization as an outcome, and we see that there is no difference. So we attribute this to the smoking. In figure three, we look at people who smoked one or more pack a day compared to people who smoked less than one or more pack a day. And we see that, surprisingly, that people who smoked one or more pack a day were more likely to be hospitalized and to have surgery. Um, one possible uh, suggestion for the reason why could be some sort of dose response um, or a threshold, um, and that's something we need to further investigate. Finally, we look at passive cigarette smoking during childhood, and we see that there really is no difference between people who are exposed to smoking during their childhood and not being exposed in regards to surgery, steroid dependency, and immunomodulator use, but people who were um, exposed during their childhood were slightly less likely to be hospitalized. So really the key points to take home um, are that people who did smoke were less likely to be hospitalized less likely to have surgery and less likely to be steroid dependent and that wasn't due to immunomodulator use.